you know, we've carried it for years. And, you know, um, unforgiveness can be a, a burden on us. You know, it could be a burden on us as well. As well. We, we feel as though, you know, we had that right to not forgive them or the people or whatever. We had that right to not forgive them. But at the same time, it's like it could be a weight on us after the fact. Like I held that because you, you start feeling really, really, um, you feel like the weight is gone because you forgave them. You know what I'm saying? Everything you feel like a burden is lifted. But then you, you feel this compassionate for them. And you got to be careful that the enemy don't, your compassion doesn't turn into, you know, I felt it that way about them for years. How could I be that way? How could I do that? What kind of person am I? So so make sure it doesn't go into that. Because you, 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 you try it. You try it. He tried it. I think he got a book called, this is what I, you know, and, and, and he knows a lot of our weaknesses and everything else, you know, and, and just everything. So he'll try it. He'll, he will try it. He will try it. So forgive yourself. You're human and it happened. Ask God to forgive you. Repent. You know, um, forgive the people, the persons, and forgive yourself. Yeah. And if you have to do this, repeat. Because sometimes you got to keep doing it. Like you, you feel like it's coming back up. Repeat. And God is the healer. So he can heal you from that. Heal, healing is a plural. So healing is everything. Healing is just not the heart condition or the blood condition. or the It's, it's for unforgiveness. It's for bitterness. Because a lot of things we carry around, it could be from the family that we went through. You know, the way we was, you know, anything. It could come from anything that you got those things that, that those things that are in you, you know, from different things that you went through when you was a child or when you was a kid. You know, you, you went through some things. So, God is the healer. He's the protector, the provider. You know what I'm saying? He's everything. He's everything. He's awesome. So if you have to do it all the time, do it all the time. If you have to keep repeating it, keep repeating it. Yep. And then sometimes you got to go into fasting. Sometimes you got you to gotta, you gotta break that thing by fasting. But do whatever you got to do in order to grow and to walk in obedience and to get free from bondage because it's bondage. It's bondage to not forgive somebody. That's a lot to carry on you. It's a lot. You know, it's it's, it's really a lot to carry that on you. You know, you you your body twists up tense up. When I said the other the last time the, on part one, I said that it's toxic. It's toxic to the body. That you carrying all that, all that extra, you know, unforgiveness in you. And sometimes you have your body hurts and you, you know, you, you go through some things and it, it takes a lot to be mad and unforgiveness. It, it, that body, if you're happy and jolly, it's just like the opposite. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying we'll always be happy and jolly because that's that's not the case neither. And and I'm going to be honest, it, it sounds so weird, maybe, to some. But a lot of times our sorrow is what brings us close to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It clears us closer to God. And it's like sometimes I, I, I know now that in my sorrows is the time when I can in, inspire people. And it sounds weird to say that, but it's true. You know, a lot of times, like, there'll be sometimes I don't be on social media because everybody be posting stuff every day and they be posting it every day. And for me, it's like I spend time with God, you know, and I'm not saying nobody else don't. But sometimes I get off of social media and I go spend time with God. Rather I'm in a good mood or rather I'm in a, you know, it, it, rather I'm doing well or rather I'm going through something. I'm spending time with God and social media is last. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to spending time with God because I'm not missing nothing. He's not going to let me miss nothing. But, I, I, you know, and then I'll get back on there and, and, and I'm ready. But it's like a lot of times people think, well, you're not on social media, so you must be going through something. You, you know, no, I'm going through something, all right? I'm spending time with the Father, extra time. You know what I'm saying? I'll just get off, you know, get off and I'm going to spend time with Jesus, you know, and 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 and, uh, and that's not the only time, but I'm just saying that's sometimes when people don't see me on there, you know. So anyways, um, it's, it, it's, 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 um, you know, just getting that weight up off of you, you know, and getting free from the bondage and, and being obedient and walking 
in the, in the obedience of God, you know, he says forgive. And so it's like we want to do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to have that weight on us and that, you know, it's, it's a sin. So, and then watch the weight just lift off. And the glory come from the release of it. I cannot tell you when I forgave so many people and I was able to go up to them and I was able to tell them, you know, if I did anything wrong, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? And 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 then, you know, and I forgave them, you know, and and it was like a weight lifted off. And it was like, hopefully, you know, you 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 let God do the rest, you know, whatever needs to happen. It's just a burden. It's just a glory. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's a, it's, it is. And then sometimes you will be able to go to the person, you know, like I said, go to the person or maybe to repair it. You know, maybe God will send you to whereas you get to talk to them and you get to sit down and you get to have, you know, you maybe go out for a meal or something or talk to them or whatever the case might be or, you know, or, or sometime it'll be whereas God will have you forgive them, but he won't have you go back around that situation no more. It will be that you'll forgive them for whatever they did, but there's times where God, those sometimes people just are not meant to go on your journey. They're not a part of that. They're not a part of your journey. Yes, you have some unforgiveness in your heart for that person or them people, but God is saying, that's not where I want you at. So you've forgiven them, but the door is shut. And it's closed and it's, you know, and uh, and then a lot of times there's times where we've cut people off and we've cut the wrong people off. And that could be our blessings. And it's a part of our blessing. And we didn't cut them off because we had unforgiveness. So that's what I meant when I said sometimes God will have you go back around them and you get a chance to talk and repair that. And, you know, and then God will fix it and, and everything, you know, so it ends up being repaired. God repairs it. And so maybe someone is saying right now, I can't go to God about unforgiveness. You know, because I haven't even given my life to the Lord. I haven't even surrendered my life to the Lord. You know, maybe someone is saying that right now. And they're saying, how can I ask God for to forgive others when I haven't even asked him to forgive me? Well, right now that is possible. Because the Father wants us to Come to him and ask for forgiveness. And he wants us to live a life that's pleasing to him. And he wants us to surrender to him. And he wants us to walk in his will. And he wants us to come to him. And there's never a time he'll say, I don't want to talk to you. You've done too much. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, just leave me alone. That's, that's not God. You know, years ago when we were younger, people told us, I remember being told that I visualized God being this big old God in heaven with a big old stick beating the mess out of people if they did wrong. That's not God. That is far from God. That is not God at all. That's not Jesus. And so you could do this today. You could surrender yourself to, to God right now, today. If you repeat this prayer after me, dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I ask you to come. I ask for you to come into my heart I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Cleanse me, mold me, and make me into what you want me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have now just accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have accepted Christ into your heart. You are now written in the book of life. That means you have an eternal home in heaven. If you lay down tonight or the next second or the next minute and you died and you passed away, you are going to heaven. And that's the best, best reward ever. It's the best reward. You know, a lot of times we spend our time worrying about what we're going to do, what we're going to do this and this and this and this. I think the um, other day I had spoke about that we think that we're set for life. You know, we're set up for life and life is... You know, we got all this stuff going on for us. We got all this stuff going on for us. But one thing that's the most important thing is, have we given our life to the Lord? You see young people passing away. You see old people passing away. Death does not discriminate when it comes to age. It doesn't care how old you are. It doesn't care what color you are. It doesn't care what uh, gender you are. It doesn't care anything about that. It doesn't even care if you're a, a, a newborn baby 
or some, or, or or somebody that's elder. It, do, it don't discriminate against nothing. And and the thing is, is have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? You know, you're probably saying, you're probably saying, you know, how do I do that? And the thing was, is if you prayed that prayer, you have just accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Maybe if you just tuned in, you have just, you have just accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have just accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Get into a Bible-believing church. Study the word daily. Study it daily. Every day is a new day with Jesus. It's fresh. I remember just when I wasn't saved, and it was like, dull. There was times that I've hit, hit points in my life where it was like, do I got to get out of bed? You know, this was up to the point when I, before I gave my life to the Lord, I was in so much pain so much pain and now I think about it and I just rejoice I rejoice in the Lord because God saved me God saved me and he brought me out of darkness and he set my feet on solid ground my feet was in sinking sand I was sinking I was going to hell I was dying and I'm not talking about like physically dying but my soul was dying I was going to hell if I would have died I would have went to hell but now it's like if I passed away if I died I'm going to heaven I know that for a fact you have to have faith in order to in even order to believe in God you got to have faith to know that you're going to heaven because the enemy will tell you otherwise you can give your life to the Lord and the enemy will tell you otherwise you ain't going to no heaven you ain't going but I'm going to heaven I believe in Jesus I believe in Jesus Christ. I've accepted him as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to heaven. And if I die today, I'm going to heaven. And I tell people, cry for me because I know it's going to be sad. If I pass away, cry for me. But rejoice because I'm going to heaven when judgment day comes. Because I've asked God to forgive me for my sins. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't accepted him, maybe you didn't get in on the prayer. If you haven't accepted him, accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. This world is passing away. This world is no more. It's, it's leaving. Can't you see? They, they are controlling us. Thanksgiving is off. That's never happened. In all my 50, 51 years, that's never happened. That we, they closed it down for Thanksgiving. Then there's a virus shock that's out. That's for fear. You know what I'm saying? And we don't even know what that's about when it comes to the, the, the Bible. Because in the Bible, there's such thing. There's a thing of the mark of the beast. So it's like we are in our last days. So give your life to the Lord. Give your life to Jesus. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm telling you the truth. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to pray before I close for uh, unforgiveness. Thank you, Father God, because he, he helped me with mine. And I want you to make sure that, and I want you to believe that God can do all things. He can do all things. He can forgive you from yours too. He can forgive you from yours. Heavenly Father, I come to you today, Father God, and I ask you, Father God, those, Lord God, that are listening, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to heal their minds, Father God. Heal them, Father God, from unforgiveness, Father God. Put it in their heart, Lord God. Pierce their heart, Father God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for heaviness. I pray, Father God, for the spirit of depression, Father God, to root that out of them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray for sickness, Father God. Touch them, Father God. Give them a touch, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for generational curses. The spirit of jealousy, Father God, in the name of the spirit of envy, Father God, the spirit of self-control, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. I speak right now, Father God. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, Father God, that people will be healed, Father God, that people will begin to come to you, Father God. That, Lord God, that they'll hear this word, Father God, and they'll say, you know what? I want that. I want to be saved. I want to be sanctified. I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Father God, Jesus, thank you, Father God, for this word today, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for saving me. 
Thank you, Father God, for saving us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our families. I pray for those that are mis misfortunate, that don't have food, that don't have a place to live. I pray, Father God, that you help them, Father God, but most of all for salvation. I'm speaking, Father God, for revival, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, glory be to God. I hope you got blessed by this. And know that God can deliver you from anything. There is not nothing that's too great for God. If you put your trust in God, he will, he will never leave you nor forsake you. And, and you know what? Your priorities change. I remember just wanting to, one, you know, back in, you know, before it was like, you know, I wanted things. Of course, we all do. We, you know, I want the big house. I want this. And, I want, and it's good to have all of that. But now I'd be just thankful that God blesses me spiritually. You know, elevation. You know what I'm saying? Getting delivered. Getting free. You know what I'm saying? Getting, getting you know, getting revelations. Breakthroughs. You know what I'm saying? I'd just be happy for that. It used to be before it was like, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm blessed. When I was in the world, you know, I got a car, I got a nice car, I, you know, and I've always had that. Brand new house built from the ground, you know, whatever. This and that and this and that. But it's like now, my priorities are different. They're different. And when you take care of God's kingdom, he's going to take care of you. I don't worry about nothing. I don't worry about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that I can't take none of that with me. None of that stuff is going with me. My car, my house, my nothing. Nothing's going with me. And you know what? That's okay. Because if I have an eternal home in heaven, what is better than that? Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Take care. And um, I will be giving my times of when I'm going to be posting my videos because um, whenever God lays it on my heart for me to come on and talk, that's when I'm going to do it. So God bless you. God bless you. Let the weak say, I am strong. Thank you in the name of Jesus.